I started looking into the subject and I met different couples, I found different couples that told me what it's like when your partner, because of an illness, actually undergoes changes in terms of personality structure. And I had the feeling that, especially up there in the mountains in that world, it is a story that could be reflected very interestingly through all of the nature that uh, surrounds them, nature up there, and all of that also is one of the characters, if you will, and I try to introduce that world as a character in the movie and to work with it, because I believe that it has a huge influence on people's lives and how people live with that world around them. Um, as a matter of fact, we, you know, you know, the setting for the movie and the pre-production for this movie was slightly different because we said that we wanted to go up there and shoot with a very small team, only 12 people up there, but to, to stay there for longer. Instead, you know, we stayed up there for 70 days and we tried to collect as many as we could. Of course, we had a script and we had a story structure that we followed and that we then shot in terms of the scenes, but we also found things on site and we reacted to what was offered to us because it was just happening up there. And uh, I uh, found out that I was actually even more interested in these people than in the characters that I had in my script originally. So that I really wanted to uh, make this movie with the help of these people because they've got so much to offer. You know, their bodies, their faces, they are speaking volumes, you know, and in life of, in the mountains is somehow reflected in these persons. And that was very important to me. So that's, uh, you know, why I invested a lot of time there in order to find the right people. And, uh, you know, and then uh, Zimon, I had to work on him for two years until he finally relented and agreed to become part of the project. It was not that uh, easy, but I'm really grateful to you that you actually agreed to do that in the end. When Michael Koch first dropped by, you know, to me, it did not appear to be a real option. You know, because we really are uh, doing agriculture up there in the mountains. But somehow this idea, you know, I couldn't let go of the idea as to whether I could actually even do that. And that is why I then, you know, remained interested, but rather at a distance, you know. And then, you know, the point came when I was allowed or had to make a decision, and I would either have to cancel or agree. And the closer the possibility of canceling the job, uh, the clearer it became to me that I wanted to accept that challenge. You know, I am actually an architect by training, and I saw in the newspaper that Michael was uh, looking for uh, actors, female actors, women at my age for a film project. And I found that very interesting even back then. I didn't even know the script yet, but I am, the, I think, the only person who actually really volunteered, if you will, for this movie. But I'm really, really happy that I did because it was just an outstanding experience. It was a unique experience. And for me, it was always clear if I can act you know, then architecture has to go on the back burner, at least for a while, so that I can actually, you know, do this project. So thank you, Michael, thank you for that. One of the dangers when you're shooting up there in the mountains, there is always the danger that these overwhelming images, you know, in the landscape format that you might just overwhelm your audience. Uh, because it's just so huge and so powerful and so impressive, you know, and I did not want to just abuse this landscape, you know, by, you know, it, in order to just overwhelm the audience, if you will. What I wanted to do is I wanted to use these steep slopes and this narrow valley and to, you know, make it somehow you know, experienceable for the audience to allow them to experience what that feels here, you know, and it of course places an emphasis on the vertical dimension, not on the horizontal, 
And uh, with that, you know, it's also a great format for, you know, portraits. And uh, this is about the people living up there. And I somehow wanted to, you know, capture them and allow people to understand these people as well. You actually have to go to the cinema for this movie. That's why I'm so happy that the Berlinale is actually taking place the way it does.